Hey everybody, this is Tom, and uh, believe it or not, this is take two of this video. Um, I tried using my wife's cell phone since my little 8 gig iPhone was full, and turns out hers is full as well. Uh, it's amazing how much room these damn photos take up. So we're using the iPad, so I'm going to apologize in advance if this gets shaky and uh, choppy and crappy. Um, so it's been a couple of weeks since I made my last uh, video. Uh, last week, uh, my family and I went down to uh, Florida for a couple of days, just for about four days. We drove down one day, stayed four days, drove back again on, uh, on Friday. And um, we went to Universal Studios for a day, uh, but the rest of the time was spent in the St. Augustine, Florida area. It's uh, at the, like the tip of Florida. Um, so when we were at uh, Universal Studios, we checked out the new Harry Potter world. Um, and at the end of this video, I'll have a, some footage of that, which you guys can take a look at if you want. Or you can just, uh, you know, close the video after the, I'm done showing the books that I picked up if you're not interested. Um, but while I was there, I picked up that little glass skull that you see there and this other little guy there. Um, the work that they put into that new Harry Potter place, it, it was fantastic. Um, you'll get to see it, though. And I also picked up this uh, little Popeye. Um, while I was in Universal and this, uh, this Spidey hat for the winter for when my bald head gets cold. Um, so I, I went out of my way to try to find some comic shops while I was uh, there and I found two. One of them was this little place called All Books and Comics and I didn't really find much there. I only bought one book um, which is in this stack somewhere which we'll get to and um, and then I found, and that was about maybe 10 minutes away from where we were staying. And then this other place called Sidekicks Comics and Games, um, which was about 35 minutes away um, from where we were staying. And my wife was not too thrilled with making that little drive, but uh, she did it anyway. And my, uh, my niece, who was down there, um, my wife's sister and her family was there. So uh, she tagged along, picked her up a couple of comics. Um... But it was like in a storage locker almost, uh, this place. It was still kind of cool. Um, my wife was in the car, so I didn't have a lot of time to, to look around. And every book in the place, almost every book in the place had no price on it. So, you know, I didn't know how to, how to gauge the situation at all, <laughs> figuring out what he wanted for his stuff. Um, you know, he, when I asked him, he goes, well, we'll have to look this up. We'll have to look that up. And, you know, I kind of don't have time for that. So I kind of changed direction and, and looked in their quarter bins actually, um, while I was there. Cause I didn't really have a lot of time. Maybe when, and we've been to this area of Florida before. So when we go back, I'll, I'll do better next time. Maybe, um, picked up one of these. Everybody's got this already. And in their quarter bins, uh, I grabbed this Alien Worlds number five. I thought the cover was pretty cool. I read the first story in it. Um, it was pretty good. It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I don't normally read a lot of independent stuff that I don't know anything about. Um, this is a book that I read, uh, or I'm starting to read, that I really, really enjoy. And uh, it's um, Bone. Uh, I think this is just is just fun a fun read. Um, I read one of those scholastic compilation books um, while on vacation while sitting on the beach and I, and I loved it and I'm kind of now hooked on it. So I'd like to get some more of these. Um, so this is bone number 21. And all these were 25 cents each. Uh, Rise of the uh, Rise of Apocalypse number two. Uh, putting together a second set of this. I already got of one set already. So now I got issues one and two. Marvel Team Up number 128. Marvel 2 and 1 number 4. Marvel Super Action number 1. And this reprints uh, Captain America number 100. So it's a nice, cheap way to get that book if you always wanted to read it. This is my second copy of this, and I picked it up just because it's uh, an Adam Hughes cover. And then I grabbed another issue of Bone, number 20. 
and number 17. I grabbed this ROM number 23 because it's got Power Man and Iron Fist, uh, and I like these. I like those characters. And Bone number 22. And then this was on the back of the other Vampirella issue, so I got these two issues for a quarter. So that's all I grabbed from there. Um, and then that other shop I went to, this was the only book I came away with. Um, they didn't really have a lot in there. I picked this up for three bucks, uh, Silver Surfer, Michael Turner cover. And then they were given this book away. Um, it's an independent, a local artist putting together his own comic book. So, you know, it was free. Since, uh, and since it was free, I figured I'd check it out. It looks interesting. I'll give it a read. Um, here's the artist's name. I don't know if anybody's heard of him. Sean... Borand, Borandi. He's from the St. Augustine, Florida area. Um, these next book uh, grouping of books is I, what I picked up from my local shop. And we got um, Amazing Spider-Man 19.1. I haven't read the last issue yet either, so I'm kind of behind on those. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. All right. And uh, I don't know what's with me in quarter bins, but I'm attracted into looking in the quarter bins. Um, I picked this up, this uh, called Trigger Girl 6, um, with artwork by Phil Noto. Uh, I don't know anything about it, um, but it um, looks like it's a, I think it was like a $6 cover price at the time. I picked it up for a quarter, so I figured, you know, why not? Let's give it a shot, see what it was like. Uh, Grab some Valiant books. Um, Unity number one and number zero. These were both a quarter each. And then when I came back from Florida, um, there was a package for me from a uh, fellow YouTuber, um, Evan Leahy. Um, I'm always chatting with him and, and, and Vin Crew and Comic Hoarder. And uh, a few months ago, he had said he had some extra copies of Fantastic Four that he was no longer interested in and uh, he wanted to know if anybody could use them. I told him I could and they were all Michael Turner covers and I don't have any of these so thank you very much Ev. Uh, so we got 544, 545 and then gorgeous artwork on these. Uh, 546 and 547. Five forty eight, five forty nine. I mean, that looks look at that, it's just fantastic. Books are starting to slide. Five fifty, five fifty one, five fifty two, and 553. So a nice little run there, Fantastic Four. Um, I'll break those open, give them a quick read. Uh, my shop was giving this away um, for Secret Wars. So I figured I'd grab that. We also got another one of these Marvel magazines. I grabbed uh, a Vampirella number one Halloween special um, Amanda Connor cover. I like that, so I figured I'd give that a shot. Uh, I grabbed the book off of eBay. Um, the Guardians of the Galaxy variant. The glare monster there. Here we go. Um, Milo Manara. I forgot his name. Milo. I'll get his name later in the video because I have something else that he's done. Um, he's the same artist that did that poster over there. So uh, I got this for uh, for ten bucks. I thought that was a pretty good deal. That was including shipping. And uh, just the last couple other books I got from my local shop. Uh, Wonder Woman Annual Number 1. This was... I um, can't remember if this was cover price or not. We got uh, Secret Wars Number 4. The Jim Starlin variant. I was glad to grab that. I think I got that for... Um, 7 bucks, I believe. And uh, barbed wire number one. 
course, Adam Hughes cover. So, um, this next group of books you're going to see, um, I picked up. There was a guy that um, called me while I was driving back from Florida, and uh, he had told me that he had somebody who contacted him. They had, they had some comics for sale, and uh, he wasn't interested, but he told them I would be, and he gave them my number, and the guy called me, and turns out it was a little old lady with a, uh, with a basket in the back of her trunk with some books in it that uh, her kids used to have um, in the 90s. So I went, and these next group of books you're going to see I got for a total of uh, $15.00. So we got a Punisher hardcover uh, Intruder, Mobius 3, the Airtight Garage, it's got a little ding over here, but uh, never seen that before, Daredevil graphic novel by Bill Sinkowitz, Void Indigo, Rick Mason, The Agent. Never heard of this one before either, but it was a Marvel graphic novel. I got two copies of this, um, Batman, Son of the Demon. They seem like they're in really nice shape. So I've got three copies all together now. So if anybody out there needs one, um, hit me up. I'll, I'll trade you one. Um, so i got two copies of that. Second printing of uh, Hulk and Thing. First printing is all white that I found that out through uh, through Vin Crew because um, I had showed him some of the books that I got. I actually came across the first print of this today. Um, I didn't pick it up. Um, got Rocketeer by Dave Stevens. I bought this strictly for the cover. Um, I thought it was amazing artwork. Conan Saga. This I was pretty glad to find um, a Hulk magazine from 1979 uh, it's got also uh, an early X-Men story in there well early uh, early Wolverine I guess with the X-Men uh, and Doctor Strange so that was pretty cool this is a graphic novel that I've never heard of before the Dreamwalker she actually had four copies of this um, there's three other ones there I, I might go back and get it um, so all those items you see there, plus a couple other things I got for a total of uh, $15. That wasn't too bad. All right. So I was at the flea market today, and um, the guy's stand that I go to, all the books that he has are anything $10 and under is half price. He also has quarter bins and... You know, the anything over ten dollars is whatever it's marked for. Um, oops, I must turn my camera off. So let's go through these real quick. Um, this is a book that I do not know anything about, but I got it for a quarter. Um, it's called Twenty Four Seven. It's got a cool Adam Hughes cover. Um, it's an image graphic novel. Um, when this came out, it was a twenty-five dollar cover price, and uh, I got it for a quarter. So I figured, why not? Um, Mighty Avengers number 13, second print variant. This is a relatively hot book right now. Um, it's got some minor condition issues. Um, I'm sure I'll upgrade this at some point, but uh, I only got it for it was half cover price, so it was $2.99. So I got it uh, for like two bucks. I got a nice copy of Iron Man 66 for a dollar. American Dream was a quarter. There's a lot of quarter miscellaneous stuff in here you'll see. Uh, this I got from a different vendor. This was a dollar. Um, first appearance of Ventriloquist. My second copy of this. Um, I've seen this sell anywhere from 10 to $15 online. Um, this was a quarter. A little um, one shot for Hawkman. Uh, this when this came out was a uh, $5 cover price. Got this for a quarter. Figured I'd give it a read. Um, X-Men graphic novel in comic book size, um, not the oversized format. Format uh, God Loves Man, ki Man Kills. Um, so I got myself another copy of this. That was only 25 cents. 
I got some other things which I'll show later. Got this for a dollar. Um, Batman 66 with Green Hornet. And this was number two. Got this for uh, five dollars and um, this got, has the first mention of uh, what was the name of that? It has something to do with Dark Side. Um, blanking out what it was. It's the first mention of the Fourth World. So, and that's uh, that was only five bucks. So I figured, why not? I'll grab that. I, was trying to pick one of these up a couple of months back and in lesser shape than this. Marvel Team Up Annual number four. This has got all, all my favorite heroes in here, uh, at least most of them. We've got Spider Man, Luke Cage, uh, you know, Iron Fist, Daredevil, Moon Knight, and uh, they're going up against the Purple Man. So, you know, with all the Netflix stuff going on, I figured this would be a pretty interesting read. I'm sure Purple Man will make an appearance in the Netflix series. This little form, uh, prestige format of um, Blondie was only a quarter. This was a $6 book at the time. A little interesting read, I figured. Then um, that little old lady um, that I bought some books from, she had a couple of these uh, Alien Encounters, so this was number nine. I like this cover with Marilyn Monroe, uh, number eight, and number seven. So I think that wraps up the books that I got from her. Um, picked this up off on Midtown, Mickey Mouse, number one. Sorry, a lot of these things are out of order. I thought this was a pretty cool cover, and I'm a Disney guy, so I figured I'd give that a read. And the other barbed wire, uh, number one. So I got both covers. Um, in the quarter bin, Batman, Run, Riddler, Run. I got, this was part three. I got uh, another Red Sonja from my collection, number two in a two-issue series. Those were a quarter. I'm going to put another set of these together, even though I haven't completed my first one yet. Uh, I haven't read them yet either, so now number seven. Number six. Uh, Avengers number 11. And I got a run of Justice Leagues. I'm not going to show every one of them, but uh, I got from I got issue 27. Issues 13 through 27. I got those all for a quarter a piece. Let's grab the rest of these. Yeah, I regretted I trade. One of the first trades I did is... Uh, with Fool Killer, you know, I didn't have anything to trade um, with him at the time, so I went into my collection and just grabbed out books that uh, I thought he'd be interested in, and uh, slowly getting this run back together. Um, Shadow of the Bat, number one, unbagged, so I figured, you know, I had two other copies that they were bagged, I didn't want to open them, so I wanted to read that. It's the first appearance of... Uh, the guy with them makes the little marks on him every time he kills somebody. Victor Zaz, I think his name is. Run Riddler Run, uh, book one. And book two. So I got all three of those for 75 cents. Um, another one of those Batman and Robins, number two. And number five. Then I found some great uh, Lake Avengers. Um, figured these would be pretty good to get with the whole popularity of Squirrel Girl right now. So this was issue number one, number three, and number four. Unfortunately, I didn't have number two, so I'm going to have to try to hunt that down. You know, when I'm digging through quarter bins and I try to put, like, little runs together of stuff... Um, you know, normally if an issue is missing, I don't grab it, but uh, um, I 
figured I should be able to find that. These are books that I don't normally see in the wild too much, and um, don't make 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 no mistakes about it. This is in crap condition, but uh, I never see these, so I figured I'd I'd grab it since it was only a quarter. Another issue of Justice League. This was cool to find. Um, Red Sonia cover show, showcase. Um, there's the Michael Turner cover there. Another Justice League, number 18, number 19. So I grabbed a lot of these for a quarter. Red Sonia, number 12. Rom Annual, number 1. And I remember this from back in the day when reading comics and the, the ad for this. And then the last book I grabbed for a quarter was Free Comic Book Day, Justice League America, number 0. So got all those, and saved the best stuff for last, uh, as most people do when they're making their little videos, um, or at least the best stuff for me, anyway. Make some room here. I bought this for a dollar. I got this strictly for the cover. I thought this was a really cool cover. These early, these late '70s magazines were just the artwork on these things were fantastic. Um, so I'm gonna give that a read. Picked up uh, a Marvel graphic novel, Elric. Um, and then the last three books. Uh, this is a gorgeous Frank Frazetta cover. Penthouse Comics. I thought that was $5, um, but it turns out he said it was a $15 cover price. And he let me have it for 6 uh, it's also got Adam Hughes, I think, in here. Yeah, Adam Hughes stuff. So this is issue number four. And this is a book that I've been hunting for a while. Um, I haven't been able to find it on eBay for a price that I was willing to pay, plus shipping and all that stuff. Um, but I stumbled across it. They, he had $10 on it and let me have it for 5 And uh, it's also got some uh, Milo Manara. Uh, that was the artist like, who I couldn't remember before. Um, this is definitely not for kids, but uh, if you're an Adam Hughes completist, this is something that you got to have in your collection. And um, as I was looking through his magazines, I found one other awesome book. And uh, this is a book that I never thought I would have. And um, make no mistakes, this is far, 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 far away from being perfect condition. And, um, oh, hold on. I just want everybody to get a better look at that. Should have made some room first. Sorry, guys. So we got, here it is, Marvel Preview uh, presents Satana, um, first appearance of Rocket Raccoon. Um, I got this not for the $3 cover price, but a $1.50. Um, and make no mistakes, it's, it's far from perfect. Um, see, there's a nasty tear there on the spine, but it looks like the piece is there. I wonder if I can fold it back over. Um, it's got some major dings, bottom's got some damage, and some damage there as well. Well, that's actually not, it's just a fold, but that the rest is outer space looking stuff. Um, but I was worried when I was bringing this up to the counter that he would know or realize what this was, but nope, he had no idea. Um, I couldn't believe he was just sitting there in, in the box. I don't know how long he's had it there for. And nobody else picked up on this. Um, so I'm very happy to grab this. Uh, so got this for $1.50. So that is my haul. My little haul. Nothing overly sexy except for the last book. Uh, plus the book that I was trying to hunt down for the longest time. I also picked up a frame for a dollar at the flea market. Uh, for my uh, one of my uh, prints that I got at the Comic Con. So uh, thanks again for watching, everybody, and thanks to all my subscribers. And um, until next time, take care. And uh, at the end of this video, I'll also have some shaky footage of uh, the Harry Potter stuff that uh, I filmed. Um, so check that out if you're into Harry Potter. Um, and uh, until next time, take care.